Hello and welcome to my video. As you guys might have noticed, I've been posting a lot of videos on Kubernetes lately. And that's because I am actually preparing for the CKA certification. And in this process, I'm documenting each and everything I'm learning. And if you want me to be your study buddy uh, for your Kubernetes pre certification preparation, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon on my videos. And with that said, let's move on to today's lesson, which is Kubelet. Kubelet is an agent process that basically runs on these worker nodes. As you guys know, there is two sets of nodes in Kubernetes cluster. One is master node where the control plane processes are. The other node, other set of nodes are worker nodes. And there is three main tasks for uh, Kubelet. Kubelet basically registers, you know, this node where it is running as the worker node with the Kube, Kube API server. And of course, Kube API server is part of the, the, the control plane, which is on the master nodes. And the second task is, it creates, destroys, or runs the pods on the worker nodes based on the pod specs that it receives mainly from Kube API server. It, it could also read the pod specs from uh, a file system, but that's actually very rare. But most of the times it receives the pod specs. What do I mean by pod specs? Basically YAML files these configuration files which is uh, input inputted to the API server through kubectl and finally uh, it basically reports the the health or the status of uh, these pods and these nodes to kube API server at regular intervals so these are the three main tasks and yes, actually, that was a very quick video. And if you like this style of videos, uh, please again, subscribe to the channel. I will be creating more videos like this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.